How you doing YouTube? Happy Saturday. So as I zoom in on this reed here, you'll notice a white substance on my leaves, on the trunk, and all the fruit. Same here for the bacon and the Brazilian seedling and the queen graft. So I sprayed this white substance. Um, one of my YouTube subscribers saw a white substance on one of the avocados in my videos and said, beautiful tree, but you know, the fruit might be diseased. That white substance might be an indication that the fruit is diseased. So I got a good laugh out of that. So uh, let me explain what this is. So what we have in the Ziploc bag is a powder called Surround WP and I stopped spraying the white latex paint and the IV Organics and I started going to this. Um, I mix it in a spray bottle, the same bottle that I do my foliar sprays in and you can actually mix those together which is what I'm doing here. So I've mixed this with the if any of you are familiar with Gary from Laguna Hills Nursery, uh, the mixture he uses for foliar spray, um, the sugar or molasses with the seaweed extract, um, the 511, and uh, any other iron or other nutrients that you may use in your foliar sprays. You can mix these together and you give it a few pumps. It takes about, you can look up the directions on YouTube, but it takes about, uh, I want to say it's a quarter to a half pound per gallon. And let me show you how we spray this here. So we're in my greenhouse where I keep a lot of my seedlings and um, grafted avocados and other small plants. But pretty much you want to just Put in a light mist spray and just kind of spray it like that. You can get under the leaves if you can. There you go. And what you'll get is kind of what we have here. Once it dries in about five minutes, you'll have a little coat of white that's protecting it from the extreme heat. So it will get on your fence and all over the place, but uh, that's the good thing about Surround WP is a couple rains or, or spray from the hose will just rinse it off. So that's why it's a good thing you, you get a lot when you order this um, because you'll have to reapply it, you know, depending on how much it's rained in your area. Maybe every two or three times that you get rain, you'll have to reapply this, but it does a good job at protecting. You can also spray the trunk to protect your trunk. Um, that's an alternative for those of you who don't like to get in there with a paintbrush like myself. Yeah, so try it out. Um, if you want, uh, just make, Put a comment in if you have any questions. Um, I can give you the link to where where to purchase this. Like I said, I purchased about 15 pounds from a member because she ordered 25 pounds and it was too much. So she just took a couple pounds, put it in a Ziploc bag and sold it to me. So if you wanna go in on it with someone, that, that works a lot. Or if you have a lot of trees, like you have a lot of land or an orchard then you may want to go ahead and just order the entire amount and you can purchase the spray bottle at Home Depot or a tractor supply store or whatnot just give you one more look at the coat that it puts on you uh, I also spray this on the avocados when they're small and uh, yeah I'm gonna spray it on my lamb hoss next because that's further advanced than this bacon here but please like and subscribe and comment um, hit that notification bell 
and we'll bring you more content like this. So I'm going to get back to work and spray the rest of my trees. Have a good Saturday. So check out the fruit here. This is my large hoss that you've seen in my other videos. It's dropping the old leaves as the new leaves come in. I want to protect those. But I wanted to bring something to your attention. If you notice the fruit, this side of the tree gets uh, morning and afternoon sun. So, you know, every other year this, this is, is the on year. So this is the on year. But what happens is all the fruit on this side of the tree gets sunburned. It's still edible, but it gets sunburned. So early on this year, every two weeks, I'm gonna come out and spray the fruit. So it'll have a little white speck like that. It may not help, but I'm experimenting to see if we can uh, limit the sunburn on this side of the tree. You definitely wanna use this to protect your graft. Once they push like this, this here is a Gala apple, Asian pear, hood pear, just various type of uh, apples on this multi, apples and pears on this multi variety tree. So you wanna protect your foliage from burning up in the sun. And that may save your grafts from uh, dying out on you. So if you come back in a few minutes, That'll dry up and it'll look like a white powder. So that's how you want to protect your grafts using the Surround WP.